Hey everybody, this is Mr. Hartzler. I'm going to show you how to make part 4 from activity 5.5. First thing we have to do is start a new part. We're going to start a sketch. This time on the YZ plane, a little bit different than we usually do. And I'm going to do the outline that they have for us on the classroom activity. It's on, uh, if you're one of my students, it's on Google Classroom. I'm going to make the general outline for it right here. I'm not going to be too particular because we're going to dimension all of this so that it's exactly what we want it to be. I just want to get kind of close. Making sure that at least everything is a right angle. Once I've, I'm done, I press escape. And now we go through and we dimension. This needs to be 0.5, so everything's going to get big now. All right. I know from this line to my origin is 1. I know from the top to my origin is 2.5. Again, this is all just coming from the plans that they provided me with. I know this line to the origin is 0.375. And this edge and this edge are 1. All right, that should be everything. And now I need to revolve, but I have to have something to revolve around. So I need to put a line down here. Since I base everything off my origin, I'm going to draw that line on my origin. It doesn't matter how long that line is. Now I go to 3D model, revolve. I need to click on the piece I want to revolve, and then I need to click axis. And I need to click on the thing I want to revolve around. Hit OK. Now I've got my general overall shape. And I need to put a hole on this front side. So I'm going to start a sketch on the front. I'm going to put a point there, making sure my Y coordinate is 0, 0. And then I'm going to dimension from that point down to my origin. Looking at the picture, that should be 1.650. Then I need to go to 3D model and put a hole there. This is a through hole that is 0.5 diameter. And now I'm going to use a circular pattern to put that all the way around the edges of it. So I need to be under the 3D model tab and I need to hit circular pattern. It's under the patterns button. I need to choose my feature and that's this hole. Then I need to choose my rotation axis and it can be really any circle on here. And we make 10 holes. So I type in 10 for placement, press OK, and that is all we really have to have here. Activity 5.5 shows that there's a small cutout right here, but they do not provide dimensions for that. That would be considered a keyhole if you happen to make anything like this, uh, and this would be some sort of flange. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please click that subscribe button and watch the rest of my videos. And uh, if you did get anything good from this, please click that like button. If you want to see more of the stuff I do in my classroom, you can follow me at Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is Mr. Hartzler. Twitter is Mr. Hartzler Math. And I hope you all have a great day.